We're somewhere a little bit different today. We're not in Disneyland, and we're not in Southern California at all. We are up here in San Francisco at the wharf, and we are at the Wax Museum, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. We thought we would change it up, give you something a little different. So we're gonna check out the Wax Museum, and we want you guys to come along with us. So this is kind of neat. Wax facts. The outfits worn by the figures are either donated by the celebrity or made to match. That's really neat. And this room is really pretty. This is supposed to be the Painted Ladies, right? Actually, I take that back. This is Lombard Street. This isn't the Painted Ladies. This is Lombard Street. Oh, there's a ball pit. Huh. That's kind of neat. Now, San Francisco has had a lot of history throughout the years, and Harvey Milk was probably one of the most famous, I guess, politicians that you can say. He ran for the cash. What is she doing? He ran for the Congress seat, or uh, for uh, the city government, San Francisco, through the Castro District. So some over here. Right. He was a community leader of the Castro District. He was very influential around here. And have you seen the movie Milk? I forgot who he was portrayed by. This is my... Tie-dye. Tie-dye. This is my area. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Apocalypse Now. Great movie. Go see it if you haven't seen it. Ashley's favorite movie. But this is Francis Ford Coppola. He helped create the Michael Jackson show that was once in Tomorrowland. So even he, even he has a Disney tie. Now we'll move on to what San Francisco is probably the most famous for, and that is the 70s, the hippies, the disco era. This is Santana. San Francisco has had a huge influence in music, and especially during the 70s. Janis Joplin. And I hope all of you know who this is. This is the legend, Jimi Hendrix. And if you didn't know, he played the bass upside down, or played his guitar upside down. He didn't buy one for being left-handed. He just flipped it over and played it. Another Bay Area music legend, Jerry Garcia. Like I said, there's so many musical ties from around here. Even Jackie Chan. Many, many movies were filmed here in our Chinatown featuring Jackie Chan. This is our former mayor, Ed Lee. Ooh, he's got pyrotechnics behind him. But former, may he rest in peace, Ed Lee. And what's a trip out to San Francisco if you don't go across the Golden Gate Bridge, albeit a smaller version, and straight ahead of us is the Coit Tower. But I could give you guys a whole tour of San Francisco because I am from here. We know all the history. But this is just really neat. We've been here before, and it was a lot different then. Continue your journey through time. I'm a little scared to go that way. Do I have to continue that way? I guess we have to continue that way, don't we? Now, of course, one of the most famous things that San Francisco is known for in the Bay Area, California itself is known for, is the gold rush. That's probably the most famous thing that we're known for. And this is really neat. When we came here, they didn't have all these projections. Do we match? I think we look pretty good. Don't you think so? I think we look pretty good. Except your hat fits your head, mine doesn't. One of the most famous things in San Francisco, Alcatraz. And they're stuck in here. They're stuck. No, Ashley's stuck. No, no. She's trying to be a wax museum piece. <laughs> and Al Capone, if you did not know, did serve a sentence here in Alcatraz. This summer we plan on doing a whole Alcatraz tour, so definitely stay tuned for that during the summer. Let me out, let me out, please let me out, I'm stuck. Ah, uh, the Hall of Presidents, Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> she tried so hard for that. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, look at that. Oh, I gotta come around. I gotta come around. He's even signing the Emancipation, Emancipation Proclamation. I can't do that in a voice to save my life. And I'm missing one. I'm missing one. 
guy looks nothing like Obama. Okay. Now, along with Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, these two are probably the most influential men in at least my neck of the woods in Silicon Valley with Apple and Mac and all of that. These two, very influential, have changed the face of how the world operates and the world works in our tech industry. And Bill Gates. Bill Gates is definitely like the most popular name or famous guy because he created Microsoft. And if you would have seen our Florida videos or have ridden Spaceship Earth, you know that he started off in his garage. He started off with nothing, built it up from scratch. Best friend. You have a dream? Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's my best friend. Best friend? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we are going downstairs. I know it's really loud, but we're headed toward the sports section with all the lockers. It's really cool. We're headed down. Sports. I wonder if I'll see Steph Curry. Well, that didn't take long. Look, first thing right inside the door is Steph Curry. Ashley thinks she could take him. No, no, she can't take him. Yeah, I could do that too. Yeah, I can do that. The Great Bambino, the Sultan of Swat, the Colossus of Kraut. Babe, Herman, Ruth. Now this is great timing. How does it feel to win another green jacket? I think, I, I think I'm scaring him stiff. Say it ain't so, Joe. Say it ain't so, Joe. Mr. Joe Montana. What is this? Oh, we must be, are we going to the future? No. It's celebrities? Well, I guess it's all celebrities. It's music. Jimmy Nana, work, 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 work. Jimmy Nana, this room is going to be really hard to film in because I constantly play music, so I'm going to constantly keep talking, and I don't like constantly talking. Actually, I do actually quite like talking, but I can't have copyright, so I'm going to have to keep talking, aren't I? This is a really young Paul McCartney. He's alive! He's alive! I found him! He's not dead! Wait, I think he's mummified because he's not moving. Hey, Miss Gaga, I, I have a question for you. What are those? Come on, Taylor, you gotta shake it. Shake it off. Oh, oh, oh. shake it off. No? <laughs> no? Nothing? Why are you staring at me? Kinda creepy, Michael. You know what's funny is I'm actually currently watching this show. I'm binge watching it. I just watched it years and years ago when it first came out. Now I'm catching up on it, and now I see this sign. And you know what? Hitchcock would be proud. <laughs> I am Groot? But where's Baby Groot? Hey Groot, can you tell me where Baby Groot is? I'm Groot. No, where is Baby Groot? I'm Groot. No, where is Baby Groot? I'm Groot? This isn't Baby Groot, this is E.T. What is Ashley? She just has wax figures everywhere. Oh no, that's actually her. But this isn't Baby Groot, this is E.T. One of the creepiest movies of all time. Even though I love it, it's extremely, extremely Creepy. We turn the corner. No, man, what is that? Oh, I think we found Jurassic Park. I, I, I think he's escaped. Um. Okay, let's just we'll back away slowly. We'll back away, back away slowly. That's the scariest thing yet. Steve, Stephen, how did you let her take your spot? I don't. I don't, I don't understand it. A You're a director now? Okay. Okay, bye, bye Steven, you're a lot of help. Spidey. Spidey. How did you let that happen? How did you let the raptor loose? Yeah, I don't understand it guys. These guys, they're all scared. None of them talk to me, none of them move. It's like they're made out of wax. You guys ever wonder what wax, like, what are they looking at? What are wax figures looking at? Hey, Morgan, what are you looking at? I think he's checking out Nicolas Cage. I think, but now he's looking somewhere else, too. Where is he looking? Oh, he kind of looks surprised. Is he looking at Laverne Cox over there? Are you an Orange is the New Black fan? You, you've got to be a big fan of Orange is the New Black to be looking that direction. Hey, MPH, I got a question for you. No answer? Well, I'm just gonna ask you anyways. How do I get to White Castle? 
Where is the closest White Castle? Yeah, yeah. They're no help. They're no help today. Johnny Depp? How could you, Kate Winslet? How could you just move over and Jack could have fit on the raft? He could have fit on the floating door. But no, you have to hog it all. You have to hog it all for yourself. How do you feel about that? So what did you guys think of the Wax Museum? That was really neat. It's been a few years since we've been there. A lot of additions have been made. A lot of upgrades, a lot of changes. A lot of the projections weren't there last time we were there. So we have another stop right here. We're gonna at least try to film, try to get in. And if not, we have one more stop before we call it a day out here at Fisherman's Wharf in Pier 39. We had to stop by the Boudin factory. We get them in Disneyland, but now you can actually get them here in the actual original factory here in San Francisco. They have everything in this little gift shop. You can find charcuterie samplers, just like this one. Different canned goods, different little baked goods. Obviously breads. And they have little breads of the months, if you couldn't tell. They're all different shapes depending on what holiday is in that month. But they have wines, olive oil, vinegar. It's kind of like an Italian store when you think about it. But I think we might get a sourdough something. Okay, so I know that one was really short. There wasn't much in there and Ashley can't eat seafood and everything there is seafood. So we couldn't get a bread bowl or anything like that. So we have one more stop and you guys gotta check this one out. One more stop before we head back to the car. This is just a sugar palace, but I can't play the music that's in here because it'll all be copywritten. So I thought I would just show you guys the outside. We'll check out the inside at some of the most bizarre candies we've ever seen. I know I said I wasn't gonna talk because of the music. The music's not as loud as over here. Tell me that's not some of the biggest candies you've ever seen. And Ashley's gonna go into an overdose because all she is doing is getting all of these candies and more candies and more candies. And I'm gonna have to sit in the car with her on the way home and it's just not gonna be fun. But what do you think about this store? It's gigantic. I've never seen that big of a Rice Krispie Treat, gummy worm, uh, lollipops, everything. And there's even plushes of everything you can imagine. Gummy waffle, gummy pizza, watermelon, burgers, pickles, more burgers. So that's gonna do it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this little adventure. Hopefully we can do more little things like this. So without further ado, if you have not done so already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when other videos like this or other park adventure videos are uploaded. And as always, if you are at any of the Disney parks, I know we weren't there today, but we'll be back shortly. Tell Mickey and Minnie I say hi, and I will see you all a little later.